A student at the school tells us he was inside that shelter in the place when it started. He is on the phone with us now, Darius Taylor. He is actually a production assistant here at WXII. Darius, kind of tell us what's going on right now. Hello, Lindsay. From right now, what I can see is that they're still sweeping the building. Um, I can tell you that they are pulling people out of the classes slowly um, and they're getting us away from the building and away from the situation. Uh, when I saw the active shooter alert, we were in our studio. Uh, we, of course, had a fantastic instructor uh, who prompted us very quickly, shut everything down, turn off all the lights, and he started locking the doors. So it was a very, very quick uh, thing that happened, and we right now we're all safe, uh, and we're just waiting for the officers to finish sleeping. Darius, tell me, did you hear or see anything in terms of any sounds of shots being fired? So I did not hear the shots being fired. Uh, what we were able to figure out was when the alert went out, we could hear the officers as soon as they started sweeping the building. Um, so we heard running back and forth. Uh, we weren't sure who it was. Uh, we don't know if the assailants passed our classroom or not. We just heard the running all up and down the hallway. Darius, you work at a news station. You know, you see these things happening on TV every day, but to live it is a different experience. Kind of talk about, you know, what was going through your mind when that alert went out. Uh, the first thing that ran through my mind was I needed to call or text my mother. Um, on, our, on our active shooter training, we know to be as quiet as possible. So the first thing I did out, the uh, first thing I did was send a text message to my mother telling her I'm fine. We're in the classroom. I'm with my professor. Everything's locked down. Um, the next thing was, you know, just wondering how strong are these doors? Could bullets go through them? Um, if I can get some other classmates to try to help them. Uh, they were in a separate part of the studio. So what we did was we only had our microphones to communicate with each other. So the first things out of my mouth were everyone turn off the lights and hit the ground. Um, so we acted quickly, but it was just a really scary thought thinking that something could happen, something that you only read about, you know, something you see on TV, think it could happen to you. You know, it's something that we genuinely talk about in our class as well. So to, to actually live it is something you just can't imagine. And Darius, you're still on lockdown. Talk about where you are right now and have you gotten any updates or any more alerts from the school telling you anything new, any new information? So far, we don't have anything new from the school yet, but what we do know is that they are pulling everyone out. Uh, we're in the parking lot right now. Um, we are away from the situation. I know that they are sweeping the building floor by floor. Um, the, the first thing I worried about um, is as soon as I thought about it was we have a heavy high school presence in our early college here in the Strickland Center. So I wanted them to worry less about us and get to them as quick as possible. Uh, so they are indeed um, sweeping everything. Uh, they're, being, they're pulling people out, putting them in the parking lots. Um, we're in a small section, so I can't see everyone on the other side of the building, but I know that they are exiting uh, as quickly as possible. So Darius, for people that aren't necessarily familiar with Forsyth Tech and the campus there, is the Strickland Center, is that a pretty large building? I mean, how many floors is that? And does it have a lot of rooms? Yes, uh, so it does have four floors. It has a lot of room and makes up a lot of space. There are a lot of empty spaces in as well. So I know the officers are gonna have to take their time sweeping every room to be as precise as possible. Uh, it has a lot, uh, a large population of students come to the Strickland Center, uh, especially in the morning time during the weekdays, where a lot of you see the early colleges. We have an auditorium here, uh, along as we were also going to have a heavy high school presence because we were doing a specific uh, gathering of the high schools to show for Cyber Tech to them. So there's more people on campus than it normally is as well. Uh, so that's something that we're. I'm hoping that we'll get a little bit more information on as it goes. Um, officers have not come out yet. Um, they're still, I know, probably not going to be out for a little while as they're still sweeping. And Darius, we have a live picture up right now of Forsyth Tech, but you know we can only see a small part. Um, do you know or have you seen how many law enforcement officers are on the campus right now? I mean, this seems like a very large response, obviously. Yes, uh, so far I've seen eight. Um, they came and they cleared our room uh, first, so we were the first ones out. Um, 
I know on the other side, there are, I believe, more officers. But for right now, all I've seen so far is the eight officers that have come to clear the first room or the first floor. And Darius, you're probably not sure. I mean, have there been, you heard any injuries or anything like that that you're aware of? No, not so far. I haven't seen any ambulances or anything like that. Um, I haven't, they haven't reported about if there's any in injuries or um, if the suspects are still around the area. So, so far, what I know is that the shots were just fired and they were actually on the campus. For you, Darius, what has been the scariest part about this day for you? The scariest part was I felt safe, but I didn't know about everyone else. And since, you know, we have so many young people here, I'm 32, so I've, I've dealt with active shooter drills, you know, all the way up until I got to college. But the high schoolers who just started here don't know. You know, they've only heard of things like this. So my mm -hmm. first thought was they must be they're terrified. Then my thought went to the people who are in the other side of the studio. You know, I know my entrances and exits, and they know theirs, but they have a much broader open area. So I was thinking that I hope that everything's safe there. Um, our professor is really good with locking doors when you come in and out of the studio, but my, my major worry was you know, bullets can pass through doors easily, you know, and it, I just got really afraid. But my, ma my major concern was the high schoolers that are in the building. Darius, you just mentioned yourself, you know, schools do these drills daily to make sure, you know, their students and their staff are prepared if something like this happens. Do you feel that Forsyth Tech was well prepared? Oh, absolutely. They were very well prepared. The tech link alert went out immediately. Um, they kept us informed about the suspects, what they look like. If you saw them, call 911. Do not engage. The police were here quickly. Uh, I felt that the response was fantastic from where I stood. Um, we were the first ones out, so I know that they were still on a very heightened alert going into the building. Uh, but I felt like everything that we learned came into play. Everything that we practiced and worked on was quick response. Our professor who's had to deal with, you know, um, learning about it on his own was quick with it. He understood everything that needed to happen and we closed off everything as soon as possible. So I know that I felt safer mm -hmm. um, in my situation. Um, because I had a professor who was right on it. Um, I have a couple older people in our class and they've been through the situation before. No one panicked. Uh, but yes, it was, it was a fantastic response all around, I think. And Darius, we know all streets to campus are now blocked off as, you know, authorities look for the person responsible and continue their investigation. The school remains on lockdown with a shelter in place. So what does that lockdown and shelter in place look like for students like yourself that are on the campus? Um, right now, we can see very large uh, police officers carrying M16s. Um, they've got on their vest. Uh, right now, everything is looking like um, around the building, you can't get in or out. Um, it definitely feels like, like you are trapped in. Um, but I do feel that we are a little bit safer because we are right outside the police line. Um, all the cars and vehicles are right in front of us. Um, as they clear every building or as they clear every classroom, it's big glass. You can see them going in and out. Uh, so, yeah, it, it definitely feels like, like it's not chaos. It definitely feels structured more than I thought it would. So I feel a little bit safer right now um, just being outside of the situation. And I had asked you, Darius, if you had personally heard any gunshots or anything of that sort. You said you had not. Do you have any friends there that you have spoken to that may have heard anything or seen anything? Yes, so, so far um, from what we've gathered from the people outside that the shots came from right in front of the building or inside the building, we're not 100% sure. Um, so they did hear the shots. They, they did hear um, the running and everything like that around us. Um, from what I understand, um, I haven't talked to too many people because we're in a small group right now. Um, we're just the ones that were on the first floor that they were able to get out. 
Um, but I don't know, or no one's talked about anyone specifically seeing anything, just what won't be heard. And you know, when you're at school, you wanna feel safe and you wanna you know, feel like something like this won't happen. So kind of talk to us just about that aspect of all of this. You know, you're at a place where you wanna feel safe and then something like this disrupts your learning. So kind of just walk us through what that has been like for you today. Oh man, it is, it is something you just don't expect. Um, we were practicing uh, getting ready for our show that we normally put on and just the look of pure terror on my professor's face when he said active shooter, everyone get into positions, um, was just something you just don't expect to see, you don't expect to hear, you know, um, looking around and everything. When the officers came in to clear the building, um, I, the first thing I did was put my hands up. Um, you never expect to see a gun in your face. You don't, you don't expect, you know, officers to tell you to get down. Um, you know, it's just... It was something that I've only read about or only seen on TV. So to be a part of it and to see, you know, the, the, the terror on people's faces is, is something you, you just can't get off of a picture on the TV. You had to have been there to see the pure terror on people. And so that to me is something that I can't erase from my mind. You know, seeing my classmates when the police came in through the building or through the door and instantly hands up you know, frozen in fear. Like that's something you just can't imagine. And it's, I, I don't think that anyone can erase that in their mind for a while. You mentioned, you know, the words active shooter. I mean, those are two words you never want to hear together. So that initial reaction and panic, I mean, I'm sure everyone else that you were with at the time also felt that way, but you did say it wasn't chaotic. So kind of talk about you know, how the class reacted with your professor and how you all got out safely and that sort of thing. Right. Uh, our professor, he was quick. He was responsive. Um, the first thing I was, I was, I had my headphones on, I was directing and just the look of everything, everything just shut down in a moment. You could hear in his voice, stop everything. You know, we have an active shooter alert go ahead and turn off all the lights and I'm on I'm the only the only thing you can hear in the other room is my voice so I'm screaming to the other three people in the other room actor shooter get down turn off all the lights get against the wall like just being able to to just hear in my professor's voice you know he was stern but also at the same time I could tell that he was worried as well but the the it just it's just the sitting there, just the sitting there waiting to hear gunshots, you know, every footstep, is that the person? You know, it wasn't until the police got there that I, I stopped panicking because every time I heard a footstep behind me, I'm thinking they're right there, they're, they're right at the door. Um, so it, it definitely, when the police came and got us, it wasn't chaotic at all. We followed every command that they gave us, um, hands up, uh, walk to the door slowly. Um, you know, we exited the building with our hands up as they told us to get behind the police vehicles. Um, it felt structured as something I didn't expect. I was thinking chaotic, you know, guns waving everywhere. As soon as they recognized we were students, the guns were down. Um, they didn't point them in our faces or anything. So it definitely felt more controlled than I expected.